I'm just getting up this morning. I've been up for about at least two hours. I watched the sunrise. But just getting up and about and making my bed. I've got way, way too much stuff in this trailer. Working on a lot of security projects and things. And a lot of things arrived with surveillance cameras and lights and crap like that. And so all that stuff is piled in here until I set it up. But I have no space to move. So I'm going to pull a lot of the stuff out as well as spend a good portion of the day getting this stuff set up. But you see how it's inching all around and creeping all around my trailer? This is... Well, I thought it was a, a drone yesterday. But when I went to go to the store, there was a helicopter following me. So, and I wish I could have drove and took footage of it. And it was another light colored one. Um, usually, or a lot of times it's been the dark navy ones, or uh, military ones, the dark green. But um, the last couple of times it's been a, a light colored one. Like a silver or a white. It looked like, a lot like the one that when I was, um, at a, out of Egypt that literally dropped down to about 60 feet above the ground, faced me, and the guy leaned out a little bit and smiled, grinned at me. Um, broad daylight, public, store full of people, in between other businesses and things. That's how cocky and bold they are. But, um, and it had navy. It had a white tail with navy and big bold letters in blue on it and it had red on it I didn't see any red on the one that was following me yesterday but I also didn't get a close up view it had to be at least a good 200 feet away from me as I drove down a Reservoir Road I think it is Avenue Boulevard who knows it drove over to, it flew over the reservoir itself in parallel with me so some of these maneuvers and things look like it's impossible for a helicopter to do. But just like the way he maneuvered in the, um, in the parking lot, this guy knows how to fly this thing. And I mean, really well. I would have been impressed if I wasn't just tired of the harassment. He really can fly that thing extremely well. And to get it down that close and that far in that small of a space, and do no damage um giving credit what creditors do is pretty impressive he's pretty impressive of a, a pilot but um the harassment and the stalking is not okay <laughs> so i'm not sure what this one is today um and every time it could have been a helicopter because when i'm followed i'm usually followed by helicopters and you can hear them I mean, helicopters have a distinct sound. And when they get so close to you, you can hear them. When they're here over the property, sometimes I hear them, sometimes I don't. Uh, a lot of times, though, they're so bold, they get really low down close. Within 60, 80 feet close. Under 100 feet close. And they're not trying to be discreet or hidden. They don't, they're not, not in the least. They're very bold about it. And on one hand, it's like they've already been looking all in my business and everything for four years. If they could have found anything they could have used against me, they would have done it already. I have never been in trouble for anything. I've never even had a parking ticket. So, But that's not the issue. The issue is I'm being robbed and stolen from. Um, they're screwing with my accounts. They're screwing with our businesses. They have access to proprietary information, business, intellectual property that they've been stealing and manipulating and, and doing identity theft and pretending to be me or pretending to be our businesses and using it that stuff for crimes and illegal purposes. If it was legitimate government or something who just wanted to look into things, there's no reason for it. But on the other hand, I've got nothing to hide. So... 
I wouldn't have nowhere near the issue. But the point is, and then they're also giving my information and access to my information to my shitty neighbors. And these ass, racist assholes in this town. Regular civilians, they're not law enforcement, they're not anything but a bunch of jackasses. So no, I am not okay with all my personal and all my business, all of our secured information being out there and being given out to, to folks. That is just so way out of line. And so that's where I have a mega problem with the situation. But um, one day at a time, because like I said, all the federal authorities are alerted to what's going on. And things like this, the video showing them casting this large blue, is blue on the map, thing where they're scanning everything and I looked up on Google, uh, I think it was the day before yesterday. It is 450 to $550 per hour to operate a helicopter. And they spend hours around here, hanging around my property and hanging around me and following me around. So they're literally spending anywhere from, gosh, minimum 3000 to as much as what? ten twenty thousand dollars a day that's a lot of money a day screwing with me that doesn't make any damn sense but again these people don't care because it's not their money but the taxpayers will care that's not what we're spending our money our tax dollars for especially since I'm nobody doing anything and they're using it for criminal purposes. And no matter how much they think they can steal from me, it will never in any way, shape, or form measure up to the amount of money that they've spent. But then again, it's not their money. They're stealing from the government. They're stealing from the Navy. But then you have to ask, why don't the commanders know what they're doing? Of course they do. That large of amount of time and use of military equipment, of course they know what's going on. They're aware of it. There's no way. That would be too lax. That would be way, way too huge of a security breach. So what the hell's going on? That is a tremendous amount of expenditure. Manpower, time, resources, equipment, you name it. And for what? And this one stays pinned on me, so it's very little else that this particular one can be doing or accomplishing because they're always here bothering me. Just just so many hours in a day. And as I've showed you with pretty previous videos, they're on me 24-7. So... That's a lot of money. Man, we could have, they, they just want this property that bad. They could have bought it from me a whole lot cheaper than the money they've already spent. Because this crap has been going on for four years. When you multiply that daily and then yearly, that's a lot. That's, hell, they probably already dropped in the millions. For what? And again... And how many other people are they doing this with? Because they're so well practiced at it that um, I'm not the only one by far. I'm not the first, I'm not gonna be the last, and I'm not the only one. So think of all the millions of dollars, again, of taxpayer money being used in such a foolish manner for petty crime and petty thieves and what the hell are they thinking? 